Hi everyone. Today my story is called How to Nab a Rabbit and I chose this story because I can see that there is a wolf on the front cover and I wanted to find out what happens with this wolf in this story. So let's see. Hello wolf friends. It's me, the famous big bad wolf. Having problems catching pesky rabbits? Well, no longer. I proudly present my brilliant book. It's life-changing. How to nab a rabbit. For hungry wolves, this book is a winner. It shows you how to catch your dinner. Love bunny pie and rabbit stew? Then so they'll soon become your dream come true. These easy tips are all foolproof. Revealed by me, the big bad wolf. By the way, wolf friends, to illustrate my rabbit hunts, I'll demonstrate some daring stunts. Let me show you. The stalking strategy. First things first, you locate their lair. Those rabbits can lurk everywhere. Most love to hide, so you must think smart. Deep down in the woods is the place to start. Hiding. To catch your lunch, you must be sly. So just pretend you're passing by. <gasps> Drat! Pesky rabbits are smarter than they look. Very important fact. Bears also hang out in the woods and think that wolves make tasty puds. Ah! Let's move on. The hole in the ground hoax. Dig a deep hole so your supper falls in. Cover with twigs and it won't see a thing. Important hint. When you've dug your pit, be sure that you don't land in it. Oh, he's so busy looking at his book. Can't anybody hear me shout? Help, I'm stuck. Please get me out. <gasps> Yikes! Who do they belong to? Mr Bear, oh, trust my luck. I think I'd rather stay here stuck. The next idea will definitely work. No danger, what could possibly go wrong? The love lure. Sew a bunny suit, add a ribbon or two, fool a bunny to fall in love with you. Just play along and he'll never tell. Beware, this tip might work too well. So there's the wolf pretending to be a bunny. And there's the bunny falling in love. <gasps> Who's that there? I hope my friends can't see a bunny rabbit kissing me. Oh no, not him. Please tell me I won't get kissed by a bear. I'm not a bunny, I'm not a bunny, I'm not a bunny. <sighs> right, wolf friends, it's true we've had a few hiccups so far, but my next idea is totally idiot proof. The postman ploy. If you are small and light to lift, post yourself as his birthday gift. Surprise your bunny when the postman knocks, but don't get stuck in the letterbox. So there's the parcel for Mr. Rabbit. What do you mean, the wrong address? Oh, yikes, I'm in an awful mess. Who lives? at this house. Important, do not accidentally post yourself to that horrible bear's house. Ouch! This next one must succeed. My reputation depends on it. Spring into action. Pesky rabbits can hop so fast. Before you've caught them, they bounce right past. So find a nice big metal spring, attach to give you go fast zing. Oh no, boing. It's gonna land 
on the bear's plate. P.S. If you've tried these steps with no success and sadly made a total mess, there's one last thing I suggest you do. Go home and cook some vegetable stew. Yum! Surprisingly tasty, wolf friends. Oh dear. Look at that poor wolf. In fact, that's given me an idea for a fantastic new book. There he is typing away. What's it going to be? How to be a vegetarian. For hungry wolves, this book is a winner. It shows you how to cook your dinner. Spuds, carrots, leeks, big turnips too will soon become your dream come true. These recipes are all foolproof. Prepared by me, the big bad wolf. Look, there they all are enjoying their vegetable stew. The rabbit, the wolf and the bear. I enjoyed that story. I hope you did too. Thanks for listening. Bye.